Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. If you like to hike or spend any time in the woods, you will soon encounter clumps of green moss and then also green, yellow, or brown lichen. Sometimes you will even see them living side by side on the same rock or tree. But they're different types of organisms. So let's take a look at these small but amazing organisms called lichen and moss. Nestled among the trees, the rocks, the moss, and the water is an often overlooked organism, but an amazing organism, and that is lichen. A lichen is a composite organism, which is the result of algae or cyanobacteria living among the filaments of multiple fungi species in a mutualistic relationship. If you recall, cyanobacteria is a type of bacteria that can obtain their energy through photosynthesis, and they, only, they are the only prokaryotes to be able to do this. Lichen may act plant-like, but lichen are not plants. Lichens may have tiny leafless branches. They may have flat leaf-like structures that look like flakes, or they may just appear like a powder-like substance. The algae or cyanobacteria help the fungi by producing carbon compounds that they use. In return, the fungi benefit the algae or cyanobacteria by protecting them from the environment and also to help gather moisture and provide an anchor. Lichens do not have roots and they do not need to tap into reservoirs of water like plants need to. Therefore, they can grow in impossible places that plants can't, such as bare rock, sand, you'll find them on monuments, and acting like epiphytes on the side of trees. Lichens can also survive periods of extreme drought. It is estimated that 6% of the Earth's land surface is covered by lichens. Lichens are long-lived, and some consider them to be some of the oldest living organisms on Earth. When a disaster happens, such as a volcano, lichen are the first pioneer species. They will grow on bare rock or other places. Lichens may need to compete with plants for access to sunlight, but because of their small size and slow growth, they can thrive in places that plants have difficulty growing. Mosses are small flowerless plants that typically grow in dense green clumps or mats often in damp or shady locations. The individual plants are usually composed of simple leaves that are generally only one cell thick attached to a stem. Moss are non-vascular plant. Non-vascular plants are plants without a vascular system consisting of xylem and phloem. Without a vascular system, mosses cannot grow very large. They are rarely taller than one inch high. After I crossed another bridge and headed up a trail, it looked like a garden of moss. Mosses carry out photosynthesis in order to produce glucose. That's why they're classified as plants. Another important characteristic of these little plants is that they require water to reproduce. While all plants need water, mosses need droplets of water to enable their reproductive cells to recombine. Moss are grouped in the class Bryophyta. Mosses reproduce with spores that mature in capsules. Mosses use each other to stay upright. Their inability to stay up is why you never see one little plant of moss by itself. It's always with a group. If you'd like to know more about non-vascular plants, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe.